Greetings, Sir and Sirettes, and welcome back to Astronia with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome back to the Space Cave and our current little base. In today's episode, we have two major goals. The first one is to make a wind vane to see if that's any better than our tiny little solar panel, and the second goal is to go all the way over there into the distance and see what we can find over at the crash space vessel. But before we start, I would like to say a big thank you to everyone who liked the previous video, everyone who commented. There is a load of support for this series, which I'm really happy to see, because honestly, this is a game which has so much potential. I really want to see how this game goes as it continues to be developed, as right now, this is only in pre-alpha, and honestly, it's pretty darn impressive. So, in the previous episode, we did have a little bit of aluminium ore, which we have smelted, so let's go ahead and collect it like so, and make ourselves a wind vane. Now will this be able to attach to our backpack? Yes it will! That's interesting, but for now, should I keep it with me or should I put it on our buildings? I think I may as well keep it with me for now because there's not all that much use for it. But one thing I do want to make, which I'm going to build over in this direction, is I would really like to build one of the printers because that will enable us to build a whole host of new stuff. I would also like to extend this, so you go out there and then can I add another one to this? I'm not too sure. Either way, I would like to build a few things here rather than just building them all in single little tubes, as I feel like that might be a bit easier. So right, so right now we need some resin, and we need to go exploring. Let's see how far we can get towards the spaceship. Probably not too far, but at least it'll be a good chance to explore. Are those just plants? Yes, they are. That's the resin. Okay. Resin and the cave system we found last time, which apparently has even more resin inside, and more weird plant life. Along with gas, by the looks of things. I wonder if that's toxic. I do wonder how many hazards are actually in this game. There's no easy way to get down there. We'll have to dig along the wall section, which is over there. So we'll do that later. Let's just get our oxygen back to maximum, and... Let's run towards the down spacecraft. Hello, spacecraft. There's an engine compartment. Oh, we're already on 50% oxygen. We can't last here for very long. Oh, there's all sorts of stuff on the inside. Look at all that there. Compound and everything else. That's fantastic. We'll grab that the next time. But we will have to bring some oxygen or a filter. Because right now we simply can't get this far. Or we could do is grab some of the tethers from the other side of the craft and then put them towards here. Can I, by any chance, build a filter? I can! Good! So I won't die. Thank you! We have air. We have oxygen. Fantastic. There's a lot of compound down there, so it's not too much of a waste. Okay, you come with me. Let's grab all the others and continue along that path. All the tethers have now been recollected, and it turns out I was missing a couple of things in the previous video, which of course was the first impressions. This is probably called episode one, just to confuse everyone. So one thing I found out is you can build upwards. Now I found that out as soon as I finished the previous video and so many people told me about it. And I am really excited to see how we can use this and make a really cool looking base. For instance, I've just made a cave, which is kind of awesome. And then you can flatten it and of course dig it back out. So loads of options there for um, terrain modification, which is very, very cool. The second thing is you can actually just leave these on the floor. They will not decay naturally, which is really, really helpful to be honest. So that's utterly fantastic. We don't technically need storage around here, although it looks better when they're attached to things, and I'm fairly certain you can build crates or little chest things as we continue, which is awesome. Is that just plants over there? Hard to tell. 
How far can that go? That can go all the way to here. I can hear wind. I can't see anything bad though. Okay, nothing major. I just thought perhaps there's one of those storms coming. This may be one of the most relaxing games I've played in quite some time. It's just so chill. Just everything about it, the slow pace of it, the music, the actual graphics, it's just very, very relaxing. Is that anything special? No? Okay. Still got our filter online, so we're fine for now to explore this place. Hello? So what's in here then? What do we have? Can we get inside? That would be a lot easier. There we are. We have copper, that's fantastic. Compound, lithium, aluminium, okay, that's actually wonderful. And chair. Okay, can I bring that back with me? Is that of any use? And is there anything else underneath here? Nothing I can see. What's this? Ooh, a research item. Okay, we'll take the research item back first. And we'll see what this is of value to us, and then we'll take the chair back, because I want the chair. Can I get in the chair? Can I use this in any way, or is it just... looking good? It looks like I can't really use it in any way, but it's still, it's very cool looking. It's very cool looking. We'll take it with us once we get back. And there goes my filter, so... Let's see if we can get back before dying of oxygen deprivation. That would be... that would be the best. Is that in? No, it's not. Now it is. And let the research begin! What are you going to unlock for me? So much stuff. Truck! Truck? As in, you know, a truck? I'm guessing we build that at the vehicle thing, though, not in our bag. Okay, that's interesting, if nothing else. Have we got enough resin for one of these? No, we don't. Okay, so let's get some resin so we can turn one of these into a new uh, base, a new platform. So then we can hopefully... Any resin over here? Hopefully we can build the printer. Now, the printer might need two copper, however, so we may need to explore more areas around us. There's some orbs over there, then there's always, like, small spires like that over there. Let's go and see what that is. There's some oxygen on the way, so I can just grab that to explore it. And then we should go and try to find some copper, and find some more resin. Okay, so to me, that looks like just oxygen. Ooh, what are you? Compound, darn it. Compound seems to be very easy to find, which isn't a bad thing because it makes both tethers and those filters, so it will allow me to get out of the base a lot easier without having to constantly replace all of the tethers. A little bit of frame loss right now as the sun appears and all the shadows render in. I'll be taking that. Also, we should have left everything behind. I wasn't expecting to go this far. Some more compound by the looks of things, and... Ooh, a canyon. More compound? Yep. Little plants everywhere. Ooh, what are you... Oh, no, that's just power. That's actually not really of much worth to me. Although there is a giant cave system here, and we do have enough compound to build a couple of filters, so... It's not like we're going to die out here. I'll leave it there in case we need to build it. Okay, let's get ourselves down then. Oh, be careful. Oh, no, no, no. This is not the right way to go. Let's find a safer route, shall we? Ooh, what's this then? Really dark music suddenly. More compound. Oh, this is lovely. We have already had to build a single filter, so I do need to be a bit more careful now as we are running out of compound. We have lots of it still, of course, but we are 
using it up fairly quickly. Ooh, what's that? Is that just energy? Weird plants. But is that energy? Yeah, I think it is. I wonder where we find copper then. Maybe it's back at one of the other weird spires. What are you? Unknown research. This is a research item? Okay, we found something. And there's one there as well, though. Though I'm fairly certain there's a couple of these left at the cave, so I think I'm going to leave this for now. Sorry there, buddy. And we're going to go back, and our main goal then is to find copper and to find some more resin. Ooh, but you are aluminium, so I will take you, and you are some free oxygen. I'll take that as well. Though I am now running out of space. Um, I suppose we should just drop some of the compound. Since this is definitely rarer. Thank you very much. Some more oxygen to refill that section. And what are you? Like an energy blob. Ooh, is that compound or is that... I think that might be what we are after. Oh, is that it, really? No, there's a little bit more. Come on, give me a single one. Is that resin? Yes, it is. That's what I wanted to see. Can't drop the last compound. We will need another filter. Can I put the filter, like, there? Oh, look! We can actually put stuff on the side anyway. That's helpful. I wonder if we can ever upgrade our backpack. Though, honestly, we, we wouldn't be running into these issues if we remembered to drop stuff. There's compound everywhere. I'm just going to build a second filter. I like exploring. I think this, this is what this game should be to me, just exploring. I love this type of game. I'll be accepting all of you, thank you, and we are once again out of space. Nothing I really want to drop though, for the resin. Could drop the last compound and just grab more later. Oh, it's silly, I know, but right now we need more resin than we need compound, and there is compound really close to the base. It's getting t to night time now, so... Let's head on home. I think that's a pretty good journey. We've got some, ow, some rare-ish stuff. Got some more aluminium, and we know of that giant cave thing over there, which is very cool. I do wonder, if we go in one direction for long enough, will we go around the world and then come back? Oh, come on, there was resin right here. Okay, resin and compound seems to be very easy to find. And I'll just take you manually. Okay, so we're back, and for the printer, we need two copper. We have one copper. So clearly we do need a lot more stuff. And let's store the rest of this on... Oh, that's a handy little platform. Okay. Oh, actually, we can smelt the aluminium. Let's do that. So you go in there. Same with you. What do we need lithium for? It was the battery, wasn't it? Ooh! Now, can the battery store power from the solar panel? Because that way, during the night, we could use the solar panel's power. I'm not too sure just yet, so for now, we'll just put the lithium down. Same with our new piece of aluminium we've just got, or aluminum, as it's actually spelt. Wow, that uses a lot of power. One aluminium over there, one aluminium there as well. There we go, it's so a little refined section. And then all we have left is a single resin, which I will put somewhere. I'll put it on the floor over here. This is now the resin cache. So, we need copper. Our new goal is to find copper. Now, where would copper be exactly? I'm thinking in the cave system. We found this quite early, so that's what I'll do. We'll get ourselves some... Not resin, some compound, so that we can make ourselves a single filter. And then we'll go down there. Or, actually better yet, let's make some more tethers, because I don't want to keep on moving them. A bit inefficient, I know, but I'm lazy. 
And let's put the tethers down into the cave. This way, the cave is a permanent location we can keep on going down to. Ooh, slidey. Without any major issues. Can I put this all the way down there? That'd be fantastic if I could. Thank you. Research items. But for now, what I would like to find is copper. Ooh. I think we may have already mined that. Another weird plant thing. Some oxygen, which is good. And that is the end of my tether. Energy and aluminium, okay. That just sounds so creepy. So far, nothing too threatening, though. Which I'm actually pretty okay with. Gonna keep on going until I run out of the spare oxygen, then I'll start going back. Oh, copper! We found copper! We have found copper! And of course, we actually have power, so... I'll just slowly mine all this. Oxygen is now running out, and we have just about enough for two copper ingots. So, a very good bit of exploration indeed. Okay, let's sprint. I'm still not sure if sprinting does use up more oxygen. Logically it should, but I'm not sure if it actually does. I like how the, t the tethers also provide light, because that looks awesome. I would like to have the tether go all the way along the mine, even if it's not something we're going to use anymore, it just looks really cool. I also want to start digging stuff out around here and making this place a bit more presentable. Okay, hello there, smelter. Could you please take this copper? I won't put in the laterite because I don't think I have enough power for that. Actually, whilst I'm here, why don't I put a little wind vane on you? That's not spinning. I was actually hoping that would work, because we can see there's definitely breeze going this way. Maybe it needs to be on a flat surface. There we are! Copper with me. And the other copper can actually just stay there. Because we uh, already had one before. Yes, we did have one before. Excellent. You are now a printer! Okay. Well, I don't know how to use you just yet. I'm fairly certain you... D okay, so right now it's not fully charged. So let's wait until it does have full power. And then hopefully it'll give me options. I'm, I was hoping that it would just give options I could cycle through, and then I give it the resource, then it makes the item. That's how I thought it would work. Okay, good, it does work like that. So we have a regular size solar panel for two compound. We have storage, which I believe is for items. A wind turbine, which looks awesome. A battery, hopefully again it'll take the charge. A generator. The seat we found earlier. Okay, so let's try to make a solar panel. A proper solar panel. So that needs two compound. There's actually quite a lot of compound back in the cave, so I'll just go and grab that. Uh, are any of you compound? One resin, two organic. It's hard to remember what we have. I still don't know what the organic is for. I'm thinking maybe the generator might use it. That would make sense to me, but I'm not too sure. Either way, let's ow, get ourselves some more compound. Oh wow, that cave goes into another cave. Cave in a cave. Cool. Not quite enough resin, but we can always go to the other reserves. Okay. Okay, we have two and a half compound, and it was a perfect time to finish because our lovely space shuttle has just run out of power. So it's definitely a good job we're making a new source of power. So we should make this, then we should make the battery cell, which 
I think is going to hold excess power. I'm hoping it's not just a one-off source of power, but is in fact a, you know, a power storage. That would be much, much more useful. And the wind has stopped as well. How do we attach this? Is it by the other tethers? Okay. Interesting. How do we make it so it's a ta Oh! It has connection points at the bottom. Oh, is it this? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm guessing it only opens up... No. Go back. I'm guessing it only opens up when the light is actually available. Okay, well... What, ne what do we need next? We needed copper, we needed lithium, we needed pretty much everything. So what I think I'll do, though, is I'll go out and I'll do a little bit of exploring until it's daytime, then I'll see if that actually works. What is that? It's a small mound of bulls. What the? Oh! Oh, it's the... Oh, yeah, I know what they are. Huh. Organic and copper. That was a nice little find. Not really that useful right now, but the copper's pretty good. Oh, and by the looks of things, a lot of resin over here. And a giant cave! Ah! A giant cave, which apparently has a hole in it. <laughs> that actually scared me so much. It made me jump. I wasn't expecting it. I couldn't... Okay, I'm going back. We lost one copper. We didn't re really lose all that much. The wind vane is still over there, so that's nothing overly special. Where was the oxygen? There was some oxygen on the way over here. That's fine. Oh, yeah, look. Now I'm actually shining my light on it. It's very obvious where I just fell. Well, that's certainly something interesting. Yeah, that's where I fell, that hole right there. And I bounced off the side. Our first death. We should, ah, we should really build some kind of memorial. But it's really far away from our base. It'd be nice if our first death was closer. If it was daytime, I would have never fell through that. Such a silly little death. I should be able to get back and be okay, right? Okay, there's a solar panel, and yes, it is online. Excellent. So next, then, we should really work on getting a battery. Having a battery so we can store the power would be vital. Lithium and lithium. We do have at least one lithium, but do we have two? Apparently it's rare. Yeah, apparently it is, if we only have one so far. So the quest for lithium is now our goal. What else is there available? What do we need for the generator? Two copper. Oh, us losing that copper is actually a lot worse than I thought. We could have had two copper, but we don't. And over there we have, yeah, okay. We definitely need a better way of storing all this, though, because otherwise I'm going to forget we have stuff. For, with compound, we, we can have the seat. Oh, I bet the seat is going to be needed to build the truck later, or something like that. Storage does compound, which, of course, would be good for us right now. Wind turbine, battery, generator. Okay, so we need either copper or lithium. That's our main goal. And by the looks of things... There was actually a fair bit of copper at the bottom of that thing we were just at, so if we can get some more compound, we could go ahead and build ourselves some tethers, go over to that mine area, and see if there's anything useful there. Or, of course, I could keep exploring our current mine. Either way, though, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's episode. If you have enjoyed, then, of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and, most importantly, shows that this game is a game you would like to see more of in the future. 
Astroneer has really, really caught my interest at the moment, so I'm really thankful for everyone who's been liking, especially with YouTube being so weird at the moment, and everyone who's been commenting. It's really nice when I play a new game out of the blue to see some attention being thrown towards it, especially since this channel's became a bit dominated by certain games. So, thank you again. In the next episode, we'll build ourselves a battery, and we'll hopefully get our base a little bit more in working order. Once we have the battery, I think I'm going to do a bit of terraforming. Thank you, and goodbye.